There's a lot going on, everybody. And uh, one thing that's going down that I saw just recently, uh, it's kind of something that is in the air because Karate Kid's back in the air. The SNC aura is out there. Cobra Kai is back. But now, when Cobra Kai is done, we're getting a Mr. Miyagi prequel series. Let's talk about Cobra Kai. So Cobra Kai cannot die. And Cobra Kai is coming back with a prequel series about Mr. Miyagi. Now, of course, they have been talking about that a lot this season. Miyagi, 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 we're going back in time. There was this little secret chest. You watch the new season coming out there. But they want to go back and dive into this world and see how he became the karate master that he was. And that's what the creators want to do for Cobra Kai. I think there's a good idea here. I think that might be actually kind of fun if you ask me personally. If you're going to dive into something with this whole franchise, Miyagi makes the most sense, if you ask me. I'll check it out. I love the Uncobra Kai so far. The first part is out. The first six episodes, we got two more parts coming. Will this be a successful finish for the uh, the Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid Masters? Or should this be done? Should there be no means from Miyagi coming forward? Kyoki, I think I think I know you love Kyo Cobra Kai, right? You love Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai can't die. So for you, do you think that this is a good idea to move forward and do another prequel series with Miyagi? Or should this be done after six seasons of Cobra Kai. No, nah, we need more Cobra Kai. It's been it's been a fun ride, no matter what. Every season, I'm like, all right, what are you guys going to do now? What? You did this, you did that. So they've literally brought out every possible anti-Miyagi villain, John Kreese, everybody from the bad part two, part three. So it's been a great thing to see them and actually see the resurgence of those actors to kind of come back in and kind of redo rehash their old characters and actually develop them. So there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into the fun, little quirky, little TVS, TVS uh, roles that we see on this. But then there's a lot of heart that they actually put in there with a lot of reality. So it actually turns out to be really good. I can't wait to see this. I'm, I'm all on board for it. Mr. Miyagi was awesome. So to see a prequel series will be great. Yeah, dude, I think he's the best part. Oh, wrong picture. I think he's the best part. I think. <laughs> I mean, Miyagi, Miyagi's fucking fantastic. I like that picture. That's a great picture, too. <laughs> I want to see that series. <laughs> Everybody loves Miyagi. Uh, I think it makes the most sense. I think the fan base will be all about this, Kiyoki. I think you're 100% true. And uh, what they've done to revi it, they revigorate this, this, like, this franchise and bring it back and make it so, like, you know, true and true to his form and also make it go to a new generation right now. They've done fantastic. And I think that if you're going to keep going forward, what else do you do? This might make sense, you know, and it could be a lot of fun to have this series come forward. We'll have to see. They down there, they're going to fuck it up. They haven't fucked Cobra Kai up. It's a little bit CW for me sometimes. I'll just say it. A little, soap, a little CW, but I do love it. I think they've done a great job. Ooh, but, uh, what do you think, Carter? Are you excited about Cobra Kai? Cannot die. Do you want to see Mr. Miyagi come out there kicking some ass, taking some names, and square rooting that son bitch? Or is this bad? We should stop with season six of Cobra Kai. The fact of the matter is, I believe yours truly wants more, more, more. And the reason is being because this individual is a legend. This person has been with us since 1984 in our hearts, in our spirits, in our enthusiasm. And yes, I believe for the next generation, he must be relevant. End of story. And I, and I think he will be. I think that people will watch this, right, Carter? People can check this out. People are like, people love Cobra Kai, love Karate Kid. They're going to love this too, I think, right? Same creators, same process, same team. It makes sense. Without question. I'm so happy that the new generation is getting to know legends like this, masterpieces that have been with so many people for generations and for generations to come, he will still be immortalized in every capacity. Is there anything that you would see beyond this, Carter, you'd like to see for a prequel series or a, or a spinoff series? Um, right now, I think what they are doing, the creative team, is doing everything in their power to make this the best it can be. So for, for me personally, whatever goes will go, and I'm really optimistic to see the creativity that will indeed come about. I think so too, Carter. Freaking great. Yeah, hell yeah, Carter. We're, I mean, we're, we're about this so far, everybody. We're about this so far. What do you think, Babbitt? Do you want to see, uh, I don't think you've ever watched Cobra Kai, if you know the original Karate Kid stuff. Do you think Mr. Miyagi is good moving forward to a prequel series about that? I would love to see it. I want to know who they cast in it. It's like, seems right. like such a great character. Um, I don't know. Is it going to be in like Japan or is it going to be in the Valley? What's it going to deal with? I don't know. It just seems like they could have like the 1950s, 1960s vibe to it. I would watch it. I would love to see it. I just watched my first uh, season of Cobra Kai. So I'm not, I'm not, nice. all up, but I would definitely be on board for Mr. Miyagi.
I get that. That's cool. I didn't think about that too. It would probably be a period piece for sure, right? And I think you could do a lot more with that, going back and delving into a different like era and bringing karate into that era too. What's in that? What's what's that picture? Is that from like? Uh, <laughs> that's from the original that's Karate Kid. Yeah, original Karate Kid. <laughs> that's not Karate Kid. What is that? Yeah, that's Karate Kid. Yeah, that's him. That's that's Johnny. That's all the uh, the bad crew with Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, behind the scene photos. <laughs> Johnny looks so young, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> super did he, young. He passed away. <laughs> did Mr. Miyagi like pass away? Ah, uh, it's he it's, did. It's, it's, like, yeah, it's been it's been like ten years, maybe. At least two thousand six. Yeah. More, yeah. Yeah, because I think it was way before they did Cobra Kai. It was way before that. And that's oh, yeah. oh yeah, reasons. It might have been like it might have been even like fifteen years ago. Um, but it's been mm-hmm. a long time. It's a bit sad. Like he was great. He's a big part of that, you know. Definitely the heart and the soul of that series. And uh, and it, it, he has missed on this show, I would say. But they do. You have a way to give like homage to him a lot of ways. So I, I think that you know he is he is very much present during the whole thing. He was a POW during World War Two. Look at that too. Oh wow, David Banner. Oh wow, that's freaking crazy. Um, yeah, he gave a lot. He was a great actor. Gr, uh, what do you think here? Do you think Miyagi is the way to go? And again, you probably love the original Karate Kid, right? So oh, by yeah. doing, but by doing that, think that he would be happy with this moving forward as a prequel series, or should this character just not be touched? Well, it would depend. A couple of things that I'd be curious about: were they going to put his origin? Because in real life, his character is a first generation. We lose. We lose Gr. 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 There you go. Can you hear me? I guess we, hear, we got you back. We, we can we can hear you're you back. now. I said Mr. Miyagi in real life would be a a first generation post World War II baby. So did he come from Japan, or is he going to be based as somebody said in the valley? You know, he could be a valley guy for sure, but a uh, little little too old for that. He could be a valley guy. I could see that. Maybe they want to delve into the early valley days of, of Los Angeles. That might be kind of cool to see as well. I, I, think, I think it's a good premise. I think it's really a good premise. And I think that, honestly, uh, Racer X says he could hear you. I think, honestly, it's, it's a good way of going about this without like giving some space from the original team. And now we're going to come back maybe later on and do more. Of course, we have the movie coming out, which isn't that far away as well, with uh, with Daniel LaRusso coming back and on top of that we have uh, from the original movie or not the movie the new movies I should say uh, I think it was Jackie Chan right from those he was in there too coming back too so I can't wait to see that so yeah Cobra Kai cannot die we're getting more and I hope it's great guys I hope it's great and I think that honestly if you're again it's the route to go. What else are you gonna do? The spinoff of the kids. We don't need to see the kids. It's sort of the kids were the premise right here. We were, you know, we've already gotten to Daniel. We've gotten to Johnny. We've seen their stuff. Let's 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 go back in time, and maybe we'll address this again in like twenty years when they're much older, doing another season of Cobra Kai, uh, maybe something yeah. like that. But we don't even need it. We got we got everything we needed from here. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Cause the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Cause I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.